I will draw the sagittal section of the eye, and uh, in my experience, I have seen, as far as eye is concerned, the sagittal section is the most important uh, view by which you can understand the eye. So, anterior to posterior, this is cornea. and this is sclera so this is the outermost layer and it is a fibrous layer right then comes the second layer middle layer it consists it is a vascular layer this is fibrous layer second is the middle layer which is vascular layer it consists of iris ciliary body and this is choroid right and the junction where the ciliary body and choroid is are uh, combining or you can say they are attached with the sclera is called vitreous base and now the innermost layer is the neurosensory retina got it now from ciliary body a uh, ciliary body sensory ligaments or zonules they arise and they hold the crystalline optical ocular lens crystalline optical transparent lens at its position and the ciliary body consists of two parts one it has <coughs> bilayer epithelium one is pigmented and the other is non pigmented and the second part is ciliary body muscles and by the contraction and relaxation of the ciliary body the lens position the lens uh, structure is changed by uh, by convex a by convex lens uh, from steep to globular when its power is increased and then or steep when the uh, it is the less globular its power will be decreased then here is the anterior hyoid layer you can say and this is a vitreous cavity this is all vitreous humor vitreous cavity contains vitreous humor which is a jelly like structure the jelly which we eat and this this is a, a, a vitreous cavity right and uh, this is the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is between the cornea and the iris right it contains aqueous humor uh, this is upper eyelid and this is eyelash upward <coughs> outward and upward and this is the lower eyelid and this is the eyelash outward and yeah. downward mm -hmm. so i am drawing all all these structures very carefully because if uh, uh, this eyelash is if i draw it like this inward so it, it will be Take cases. Take cases. So I, uh, it will 
erode the cornea. So these, this is a schematic graph, graph for understanding. Here is the optic nerve and here lies the macula. Macula is not a structure. Macula is, for example, this is the retina and retina is like uh, the eyeball is uh, if it is like this the deepest part of the posterior uh, part of the globe is called the macula it is not a structure as such and the center most point is the foveola centralis and then there are other names and the outermost layer is called macula which is about 5.5 millimeter so uh, this is basically the gross anatomy of uh, the human eye okay and uh, now there are four muscles which are attached on the uh, eyeball which we will discuss later now we uh, briefly discuss the functions of the eye but uh, functions of the eye means uh, how does eye uh, function I mean uh, there are many functions like uh, VN the basic function and then color VN peripheral VN but we are today we will discuss as a whole the this operators which is placed in our body how does it work so the rays of light uh, coming from infinity for example beyond 6 millimeter 6 uh, 6 meters 6 meters or 20 feet then the first encounter they have they have with the cornea the first encounter of the rays of light they they touch the cornea and uh, cornea is a convex shaped structure and it I should have uh, draw it here. Okay, it will converge the rays of light, and they will pass through the pupil. The pupil is constricted and dilated. So, pupil accordingly uh, sets it and they then go to the lens after the major the major uh, refraction takes place at this interface the total <coughs> the total power of the eye in diopters is 58 Point eight. 58.9 something or 58.8. You can say for the sake of simplicity, it is 60 doctors spherical in doctors. And uh, out of this 60 doctors, uh, 47 doctors is contributed by the cornea. So 60 minus 47, how much? 13. Then the other uh, further fraction is from the lens. And therefore, here it, the image is formed right on the macula. 13 to 15 millimeter. Uh, 13 to 15 doctors spherical of 
further refraction is done by yes. lens so making total of 60 drop this is the basic function and functionality of the eye understood i have tried my best to make it as easy as possible okay now uh let me uh keep keep this diagram in your mind okay some very basic things which should be i think learned along with this thing this is the retina and this is the cornea if the rays of light are formed on the retina it is normal and it is called the state of emetropia emetropia like most of the people who are not wearing the glasses emetropia is defined as a state of refraction when rays of light are focused on the retina when the accommodation is relaxed the last line is very important when the accommodation is relaxed it means when the patient is looking <coughs> uh, at least at 6 mm or beyond why 6 mm because we have seen with experimentation that at 6 m and beyond the rays of light become parallel as we come closer the rays of light become more divergent uh, from the parallel they come like this from 6 meter or beyond if you come closer they will come like this they will be coming like diver divergent eye then a normal person will do accommodate will do uh, have to do accommodation to accommodate these divert, uh, divergent uh, rays of light by uh, you can contraction um, uh, contraction of the ciliary body thereby relaxing the suspensory ligaments and making the lens more globular increasing its power so they can be converged on the retina the emetropia this is emetropia the other uh, states of refractions are when the rays of light are not focused on the retina because of various reasons what are the possibility one possibility is that the rays of light are formed in front of the macula you see and it is a blurred image is formed they are forming in front of the retina or they are formed behind the retina or no pointed image is formed one image is formed behind the retina and the one is formed in front of the retina now in which the in, uh, they are formed in front of the retina it is called myopia and it is corrected by placing a concave lens by milling its refractive error by retroscope or retroscopy or auto refractometer minus 2 or minus 3 by placing in front of the cornea so the rays of light are divergent and the cornea then accordingly they are formed on the retina are you getting my points yes sir uh, conversely uh 
if there is hypermetropia obviously you can imagine a bike and max lens will be placed in front of the retina so that it is converge give an additional help to this convergent and the rest <coughs> is taken by cornea and the lens and the images again formed on the retina the difficult part relatively is when one ray of light is formed behind and one in front of the retina now these are two images are formed it is called mixed astigmatism astigmatism has has uh, astigmatism has many types uh, it is one of uh, its type so it is mixed as sigmatism because one part is myopic and the other is hypermetropic that is one number will be in plus and other will be in the minus so we will uh, discuss it uh, when we will be learning the refractive errors understood so this is the gross anatomy and gross functions of the eye thank you